Often in Sheets or Excel, you have the data input that looks like this, but you want to be able to make a tabular data set to do other kinds of things like pivot analysis that's more advanced. So you can do that with these functions I'm going to show you here. So for example, if I enter June and some numbers, they will automatically come out in this list as well. So it does automatically grow. It can grow in both directions if you need them to. And you can do more advanced stuff like unpivoting column pairs. We have US price quantity, Canada, etc. So we're going to go through how to do this in this video. Before we get started, though, my name is David Benayim, and I do weekly videos on Google Sheets, Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint, Teams, Zoom. If you're using tech at the workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want to see more. So there are two functions in particular that are going to govern this. The first one is the flatten one. I can write, for example, equals flatten. And then if I select all of these columns and close my brackets, and I get all the lists, all the names in one list, in one column. Now you can add the query function to remove the blanks as well, which is something we're going to cover a little bit later. But the second function is a split function, which allows you to go from this, which is a list in one cell separated by a semicolon into multiple columns. So equal split. You click on the text, comma, delimiter. In this case, it's going to be this semicolon. I'm going to do a space there to get rid of the extra spaces. And then I'm going to close my brackets because the other two are optional. So then I have all of those like that. Notice that if I didn't put a space, it's a bit ugly because I get that extra space there, which is not what I usually want. So let's go into the first simple version of unpivot, which allows us to go from this to this. So first I'm going to write equals flatten. And then I'm going to say, well, I want to first combine them into one thing. So my first range is going to be, well, all of this first. And I'm going to add ampersand to join, and I'm going to add this character, and then ampersand to join this character, and then ampersand to join with all of this. Now you do first your row headers, then your column headers, then the rest of the text. You can mix up the order though. So I'm going to do that like this. It's going to give me an error. The reason why is because this becomes an array. So you need to wrap array formula around it. Array formula is just a simple thing. You just start and end like that. So there we go. In general, if you are doing complex functions and formulas in Google Sheets and it's not working, it's giving you that kind of error, just wrap it around with an array formula and it might work. <laughs> so here it's done this, Jack food, Jack drinks, etc. So it's gone from here into this. The issue is now that it's all in one cell. So as we know from before, we can split it. So I'm going to put split in between array formula and flatten. And then I'm going to say, well, what am I going to split it by? I'm going to split it by the pipe symbol. And then I'm going to close my brackets once and twice like that. And then I have it showing perfectly like this. Here we're going to go one step further. So we're going to have a checkbox thing that if you tick it or untick it, it does lead to this one. Checkboxes are a great feature of Google Sheets in the insert tab that don't feature in Excel. I absolutely love them. Um, but we're going to go to look at how to unpivot that. So let's go with our first example first. So array formula, split, flatten, that becomes your sequence. And we're going to first choose this. So my first one is going to be the names. Let's go up to 20, so it's auto expanding as well. And then ampersand, speech marks, pipe symbol, ampersand. And then let's go with the days of the week. And then same again. And then all of this. You have to go to the same row number, otherwise it won't work. So close my brackets for flatten, comma, split is going to be the pipe symbol that I split it by. Close my brackets for that one, and then close my brackets for array formula. So that's all well and good, except, well, we have the trues and the falses, which we don't want. Plus, we also have this other stuff underneath because, well, I don't have anything here there as well. 
So I want to be able to filter it and get it to work so that when I add in someone new, um, and let's say these check check boxes, then it does filter it, but it doesn't show it for these ones, and it certainly doesn't show it here. Uh, plus, it's nice to have the titles, isn't it? So that's where query comes in. Query is by far the most sophisticated function in either Excel or Google Sheets, and that is because although it has just two inputs, the input data and then comma, the query, the query can take a whole new type of coding language similar to SQL. So although that sounds intimidating, just follow the steps in this video and it will get you through pretty much every scenario you need for the unpivot feature. But if you want more, then I have a huge video just devoted to query, um, which is one of the most viewed on my channel. So I'm going to say here, select. You always start with select. And I'm going to do select comma one, column, call one, call two. Let's close my speech marks and close my query there. You can see what it's done. It's just selected that. Next, I'm going to say, well, only give me the ones that are ticked. So I'm going to say where call three equals true. Enter. And then you get it showing like that. Notice that if you are doing true false, you don't need um, single quotation marks, but you do for other text. And just let's add in some new ones. So let's add in George. And you can see that it is responding that way as needed. Next, let's add in uh, labels. So I'm going to say label call one is going to be single quotations whenever you have text in query function. Here we're going to say name and comma for the next label call two is going to be called day. And then we get it showing like this, which is the same as here. All right, let's go a little bit further. So let's say we have lots of columns like this that we want to include in every row of our output data. So here is where we can add in another function. The opposite of split is text join. I love text join. Equals text join allows you to write the delimiter, which in this case is going to be this pipe symbol again, comma, ignore empty. For this one, I like to do false because Otherwise, if there is a missing field like here, it will not work. And then comma, text one is going to be just uh, all of this, comma, and then all of this, like that. Close your brackets, and then you get it showing like this. And where I do have an empty thing, it will have both of those two pipes next to each other, but then split can split them into multiple columns back. So once you've got that, the rest is similar to what we've talked about before. All right, so let me um, just make this easier to work with. Double click that and then let me group these and hide them. So here I'm going to write equals same as before. So array formula split flatten. And then I'm going to start with these. And then, and, and these ones, and then I'm going to do these ones here. I'm going to do it last um, because that way it gets it to expand it after that. So same as before, close brackets, close brackets, and we get it showing like this. Uh, notice that where you did have these two things next to each other, it hasn't quite worked. It's put female gender in here. So we do need an extra thing in the split function. The third one we leave blank, split by each in this context. But this one, we're going to say false here. And this is going to tell it that when there are two delimiters, leave that as a blank space so that the gender is very clearly here. So here, let's get it to do it for um, an auto-expanding selection. So we might want to go for more months. We might want to go for more names or states or whatever. So we want it to expand in all directions. So here, I've already done it, but I'm going to take this bit from array formula until there and copy it because we're pretty familiar with that at this stage. And I'm going to start with equals, and then I'm going to do query, paste that data in there and then comma to go to our query. 
Now it does start like this. Notice I'm not including state and name because they're just in the details tab as we saw earlier. And I'm going to say, well, open speech marks select star means all the columns where, and then I'm going to say call one is not null and call four is not null. Notice that there are four columns in this instance. So close my speech marks like that, and then it will show me all of this data. And then here, if I go with August and a number, then August gets added. And if I add in a new name, so I've added some of the data here, but of course the details one needs to be dragged down. And then I should get it, yeah, New York, there we go. You can also use the order by inside query to change the sort order by another column if you want to do that as well. And next one, we're going to look at unpivoting column pairs. So we're gonna go from this US price quantity, Canada, Mexico price quantity to something that looks like this. But the intermediary step is we need one cell that has the country and then the price and the quantity all in them like this. So let's write the formula to get this equals text join and then delimiter. Now you can have all sorts of obscure stuff like I'm going to paste in this emoji <laughs> always with speech marks before and after though and then ignore empty. I'm going to write false which I do when I want to resplit it later on but generally when I use text join I use the opposite which is true. And then text one, I'm going to write, click on the US cell, comma, and then I'm gonna click on these two. But I want to keep row number three in place, so I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of three, and then I'm going to close my brackets there. Now when I drag it down, it still has US there, and then I can drag it across, and over here it doesn't make sense, but over here is my Canada one, and I can get the same for Mexico. So drag that across. This one makes no sense, but this one does become the right Mexico one. So there we go. Now we have all of those. And next we want to go from this into an unpivot. So here we can see array formula, that one. And then I've just added select that, select star, select all of them and give them labels to give them titles. So here I can just write equals and all of those. It will show them to me like that. And we already showed you how to get the titles. So I'm not going to go through that in this section. And there you go. And that is how you can unpivot lots and lots of different scenarios and flatten the data using Google Sheets. Um, if you have Excel, then Power Query can do it without any coding. But Google Sheets gives you the flexibility of doing it directly within the grid with any version of the software. And lastly, it does refresh automatically, which is quite nice. If you like this video, then I make a weekly video about Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, Teams, Zoom. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want more.